let's use the other focus and push on blur radius to touch these images and see what happens. What's the worst that can happen if I use the focus of motion blur does that I would normally not use to retouch this kind of images? Let's find out. Let's start with this image right here. So the first thing I'll do, I'll duplicate my background layer by pressing on Ctrl J and just come to my action and click on focus is operation system bit right here. And by the way, if you need my action, I'll be leaving the quick edit for free in shown below. So for this image, let's use a focus of motion blur of three and hit OK. Now from here, I'm just going to zoom in comes with my high focus layer, pick my close thumb tool and just try to remove blemishes from the image. So you can see, if I try to remove these blemishes right here, it's not actually going to remove the blemishes the way I want it because I'm using the wrong focus separation. So I'm going to have difficulties trying to remove blemishes from the image. So that's one problem we are going to get when we use the wrong focus separation blur radius. All right. Now the other problem we're going to get is that if I come to my brush layer and pick my mixer brush tool, so if I had my high frequency texture and I just try to paint on the image just to smoothen out the color, the other problem we're going to get, you are going to see the image is just going to look flat and look too smooth. All right, so let me just brush now so you can see. Just wait for it. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see the image is looking too smooth and it's looking plastic because we use the wrong focus separation blur radius. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually get the right focus separation blur radius for the type of images you want to retouch. But before I do that, let's come to this image right here, this full body image and let's do the same thing. So if I use the wrong focus separation blur radius for this image, let's see what's going to happen. So if I just go to my action again, come to silence focus separation 16 bits and just use a blur radius of 20 for this image. And click on OK. If I just zoom in and I try to paint on this image, so if I had my high texture layer right here, pick my mixer brush tool. First problem I'm seeing right now is that the image is looking too blurry, like I'm not even seeing where to brush on. So that's one problem I'm getting when using the wrong focus separation blur radius. You can see the image is looking too blurry. So if I just try to brush, let's see if I can brush. If I try to brush with my mixer brush tool and just try to mix the colors for this image. Alright, so let's see the before and after so you can see. This is the before and this is the after. You can see, no matter what I do, it's going to look as if I did not do anything. So, see the before and after. Even if I pick my mixer brush to again and I paint with paint pressure, I added more efforts to painting on the image just to try to smooth out the color. It's not really going to smoothen out the color because I'm using a wrong focus separation Gaussian blur radius. All right. So if I just turn on this layer again, it's not looking good. It's as if I did nothing on the image. Now here is the solution. When you do focus separation, one thing to keep in mind is, if you want to retain texture on your image, use a high focus separation blur radius. While if you want your image to be smooth, use a low focus separation blur radius. Now for full body images like this, I usually use a focus separation blur radius between two to four. Why for headshot like this, I use a focus separation between 10 to 20. Why for normal shots like, let me just crop this image so you can see. So for portrait like this, I use a focus separation blur radius between 5 to 7 for portrait like this. Now, let's use the right focus separation blur radius so you can see the effect. So if I come back to this image again, and just delete everything I did. Alright, so I'll come to my action again. Click on focus separation 16 bit. This time, I'm going to be using the correct focus separation blur radius which I normally use to retouch this kind of image. So I'm going to use the focus separation blur radius of about 14 and click on OK. Now if I try removing the blemishes, so I'll click on my high frequency texture copy right here, pick my close thumb tool. Remember when we try removing the blemishes with the wrong focus separation, it did not remove the blemishes for us. But right now if I just try to sample and just remove the blemishes, you can see it removed the blemishes perfectly because we are using the right frequency separation blur radius. Now, if I try to brush on this image using the mixer brush tool to smooth out the skin, just come to my brush layer, hide my high texture layer right here, pick my mixer brush tool and just paint on the highlight separately like so. Paint on the shadow separately and the transition separately. What it's going to do is that it's going to make the image look smooth, but at the same time, it's going to retain texture or keep texture on the image and make the image look natural and not look plastic or look too flat. And the reason is because we use the right focus separation Gaussian blur radius. 
all right now let me quickly show you the before and after so you can see for yourself okay so just take a look at the forehead and the cheek right here so this is the before and the after the before and the after you can see we still have textures on the image and at the same time the image is looking smooth and a lot better all right now let's come back to this full body image right here now for this full body image i usually use the focus separation blur dots between two to four so let me just delete this one i did and use the right focus separation blur dots so i come to my action come to focus separation system beats and from here i was using a focus separation blur dots of three and click on ok so if i do that you can see first of all if i turn off this side texture layer right now the image is not located too blurry i can still see the skin of the image and i can still see where to paint compared to before when we use the wrong focus separation blurry dots all right so if i pick my mesa brush tool and i just try to smooth out the skin the skin is going to look smooth because we use a low frequency separation blur radius for this full body image so let me just quickly do it and show you the before and after so you can see it's going to look smooth and a lot more better compared to what we did before all right now you can see this is the before and this is the after the before and the after and for me i feel it's looking too smooth so i'm going to use the frequency separation blur radius of four to retouch this image or what i can do i can just come to my opacity and just reduce the opacity of this slider right here just like this so this is the before and the after the before and the after now that you know what will happen if you use the wrong focus separation blur radius to retouch your image check out this video right here to watch how you can use focus separation to actually retouch your image the right way i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative